everyone. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough. I didn't even get up the tripod. This is going to be fast, I hope. Um, I'm not using this curriculum for science for first grade. However, this was given to me, and this is the teacher's manual. I'll just show you the front of that. Um, this was given to me um, by another homeschooler, and so since I had it here, I thought I would just do a walkthrough because I looked through it, and um, this could have been a possibility, but I really just like what we found uh, even better, so we're gonna stick with that. But this is the BJU Science Grade 1 Second Edition. There is a third edition, and if I was to use the science for Grade 1, I would use the second edition. I would not use the updated edition, and I'll get to why I wouldn't. Um, but it comes with a student text, which is actually very colorful, and I think could be like a science reader. I mean, it's at reading level, you might have to help them out with a few things, um, but I think it's very um, um, doable to make this a, a science reader for them. If not at the beginning of the year, maybe by mid-year or end of the year. And um, that's the student text. There is actually um, a e-text available if you want to get that as well um, as a printed edition, and then that way you can put it on your iPad or whatever and have it on the go with you. Um, there's a teacher's edition, a test packet, this is actually the answer key that I was given, and then there's also an activity manual for doing um, experiments and different activities and worksheets and things like that. I don't have the activity manual because, like I said, this was given to me and I didn't purchase the consumables because I'm not going to actually use it. Um, I will keep it though, I mean, just, I think, I think um, this reader, I really like this reader, I might have my son read out of here every now and again with you know going along with what we're studying but I want to just show you a couple things in the teacher's manual and give you an overview of the program itself because one thing that I hear over and over and over again in the homeschool community is hands-on and box curriculum has a notorious reputation for not being hands-on and it's just simply not true um, if you look at the material sometimes this is daunting to see all of this and oh my goodness this is one lesson and Actually, it continues onto the next page even. And it does look daunting, but I actually think this, this edition is much less busy, much easier to follow than the third edition of first grade science. I actually looked at it and I, I could not use it. It was way too busy for me. I didn't know what was what. This is much easier to follow, I believe. But that's just my opinion. You may love the third edition. A couple things I wanted to point out to you about the um, program as a whole is um, each lesson, or maybe not each lesson, but most lessons, have this section here called enrichment. You can see that there. And it's basically a hands-on activity that teaches the lesson objective. So if you are a hands-on person and you want hands-on science, this is how I would use it. I would actually just do this activity and then ask the discussion questions that are covered throughout the lesson while we're doing the activity, okay? So I wouldn't use it necessarily for enrichment, I would use it as the lesson itself. There are enrichment activities all throughout here that you can just use as your lesson. And they're all hands-on things that you can do with your child and um, give them that tactile uh, learning experience. In the back, there are also Plenty of printable, I wanted to show you the tooth game because I thought it was really cute. There are plenty of printable hands-on games. This is a matching game that they play when they're learning about um, seeds. There's a maze game that they can play. Again, these are all reproducible games and things that they can do. I was hoping to show you the tooth game. That's a, a temperature game that's in there. Okay, here's tooth, we're getting closer. Okay, here. This is a principle. Okay, so here's the top part, here's the bottom part. And it's a little game that you play for teaching them proper care of their teeth and the parts of the tooth and um, ways to care for the teeth and all that kind of stuff. And then there was one other game I thought I'd show you back here. So mainly I'm showing you this stuff to just let you know that, you know, oh, this one here. This is a weather game. And basically they get this chart and they're watching the weather for when they see things. So when they see a day that has rain and when they see a day that has snow and 
um, they kind of check this off and it's a little game and I thought that was kind of a cool way to track the weather but um, I, I basically showed you this because like I said um, quote unquote box curriculum gets such a bad rap for not being hands-on for not being engaging and colorful and all sorts of different things and I just don't think that's the case with, with BGU material even though we're not using this particular subject um, I really think we, we could have and, and tweaked it to meet um, my son's needs. I'm not much of a workbook, textbook, or not textbook, I'm not much of a workbook, worksheet person, and neither is he, but there is plenty, plenty, plenty in here to just do activities and read through this book together and, and have a complete science curriculum. So just wanted to show you in case you were interested in picking this up for your homeschool. Take care.